Hi everybody, it's Sharon. Welcome back to my channel. I decided to join a YouTube and Instagram collaboration and on my Instagram page you can see again the uh, collage of everybody's pictures that they submitted and today I'm going to share my contribution with you. So I'm starting out with black and red nails. Instead of doing a traditional pink and red, I decided to change it up a little bit. So I'm also taking the paint dripping design that has become very popular and switching that up a little bit. So instead of having the illusion of the paint drips coming down into a dot of drips, I'm having it come down into hearts. So right now I'm using the larger end of my dotting tool and I'm making the two dots at the top of the heart and then I flip it over to pull it down and make the V of the heart. And I'm actually doing this design in both pink and white paint droplets, which the only thing that I regret doing, so if you're going to recreate this design, here's some advice for you, is to do the whole thing in white and then go back over the part that you want to be pink or if you want to do it in another color, um, but go back over it then in that color. Um, you'll see that I have to go back over the pink quite a few times to get it to really be vibrant and looking the way it looks now. So now while um, I'm using acrylic paint, by the way. So while the acrylic is wet, it looks very vibrant, very dark, very opaque. But as it dries, you'll see that it loses a lot of the opacity and it just becomes very dull looking. So I did have to go over it and build it up quite a few times. So if you use white first, you will not have that problem. And I also just want to give a quick shout out and thank you to my friend Karen. Hi, Karen, who works at Michael's and was kind enough to pick up the paint for me since my most of my acrylic paints had dried out. Mm. So I'm just now going and filling in the top of the paint drippings where the paint is all coming from and then dripping down in that illusion of the paint drips. And I also want to give a shout out to nailed it New Zealand. Her channel is where I purchased my brush collection from that I'm using and it comes with a few brushes and a dotting tool. So right now I'm using her dotting tool and then later on I'll be using her detail brush and you actually don't see it in the video but I use her cleanup brush as well. So I will leave her information in the description box along with all of the polishes that I'm using and um, I guess I can leave the brand of the acrylic paint too. It doesn't matter what acrylic paint you use, but I'll leave that just in case anybody's interested to see what I used. So, um, like I said, I'm just going back and adding more paint to the pink just to make sure that the color stays vibrant and that you can see it. So there is the finished paint drip into hearts nails and as you can see I combined the pink and white in the center so that it's flowing into one heart and here is the Nailed It New Zealand logo on the dotting tool and as I said there's a large end and a smaller end that you can use for making either smaller dots or I used it to drag the larger dots into the points for the heart. So now I'm using her detail brush and moving on to the next design which is two interlocking hearts and again I did the same thing I used pink and white to carry over that same color and again I recommend that you do them both in white and then do the pink on top of it. Um, I did not do that and you would think that I would have figured that out after doing the first design and seeing the paint drying and having to go back and redoing that, but no, I didn't. So I'm doing the pink heart right now and just figuring out the placement so that I can have the white heart 
then interlocking with the pink heart. And as you can see, I, I'm just kind of sketching the outline. If you do not like where your placement is, that's one great thing about using acrylic paint is you can then go back in with either a Q-tip or a lint-free wipe and just some water and you literally can just wipe that right off. So you want to make sure that your polish is dry and that you use the base coat on top and then you can easily go ahead and just wipe that design off and start over if you don't like where your placement is or if you made any mistakes. Um, another thing too with acrylic paint is once it dries if you have a spot that's wider than another or if you needed some smaller detailing you can go in with a toothpick and scrape away some of the extra paint which um, you won't see it in the video but I did that with the bottom of the arrow I had too much of the gold loaded onto my brush and the bristle part of the arrow kind of looks too thick so I just went back in with a toothpick and just kind of scraped out some pieces to make it look a little bit thinner and more defined. So there's the white part and the white heart, sorry, and just finishing up on the pointed end of it. And then I'll be going in with gold paint and drawing the arrow on there. And again, just going over that pink heart to just bring out some more of the pink. And I mixed a little bit of white in there with it too, just to give it some dimension. And there is the beginning of the arrow. And you can see what I was talking about on the bottom of the arrow. It's a little bit thick there, but I go back in later and fix it. Um, I, I do not have that on video though, but I just used a toothpick and just scratched out some of the gold and just fixed it where I wanted it so that it would just be a little bit thinner. And um, again, just going back over with the pink, like I said. Um, so I definitely would recommend doing a white base underneath just to make sure that the color is as vibrant as you want it to be. And my dog's making all kinds of noise in the background. Drinking water, snoring. And just going back into the other nail and giving that a little touch up also. And there's those two designs finished. And then I used a um, soak off water decal and there's the gold and you just literally soak that in water. Ignore my pinky finger there. I decided to change the design. Um, so you just literally soak that in water and the decal comes right off and yes it is pronounced decal so um, I 
don't know in other countries if that's the reason. I know that I've heard people from Canada say decal, along with, um, I believe, Australia and New Zealand also, but um, so it might be pronounced differently there, but in the United States, we do pronounce it decal. So for those of you wondering how to pronounce that word, it's decal. And just showing you the brand, that's Cena, and this is a bunch of hearts that, once again, just decals, and you just cut off the piece that you want to use and soak that in water, and it just slips right off, and just using a pair of tweezers there for placement. And on this one, I actually, um, to make sure that I didn't go too short, I actually had an extra heart on the end, and... I snipped that off, which you can kind of see in the corner there. And then once I cut that off and left the rest of my thumb, I just applied that to my pointer finger just to add in with the gold there since the gold was the only design that I had on there. And then you just want to use a good top coat to cover that because once the decals dry, they will just come right off because they're just um, there's no tape or anything on the back of it. So it's just you know soaked off with water and once all the water dries you just then go ahead and put your top coat on you might want to put two layers of top coat depending on how thick it is and also with the acrylic paint when that's dry and you're all finished apply top coat to that as well um, just to seal it in otherwise the acrylic paint will wash off so um, I decided as I had mentioned earlier to change the design on my pinky now um, so I just decided to do a little pattern of hearts and I'm just using the dotting tool again, the larger end for the two um, dots at the top of the heart and then I use the smaller end to then drag it down into the points. And I'm just doing a pattern here of two hearts at the top and then one heart in the center, and then two hearts again at the bottom. So there's the center heart. And I just used the cleanup brush to fix some of the acrylic paint that was on the side of my nail. But there's the finished design and here's a completed picture with all of the cleanup done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed so that you'll see more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.